Hi there once again. Um, something new that I'm working on now. I want to build myself a small sort of tabletop pinball machine, virtual pinball machine. Uh, I like um, Pinball Arcade, I play a lot on that. Pinball FX2, some of the tables on there I like. I do prefer Pinball Arcade because they're based on realistic machines. And I was trying to figure out how I was going to go about building an actual small cab and putting a screen in it and so on. So I bought um, this iPack 2, it's called. It's a little circuit board which you connect your buttons to. Because basically um, I bought this fighting stick a while back and I've put a USB extension on there because sometimes I use it when I'm sitting on my couch. That comes with um, Xanwa buttons and joystick and I much prefer the Shimitsu for certain games when I'm playing MAME and all that sort of thing. And I actually bought a small circuit board similar to the iPack, but maybe not quite as good, but it worked for this joystick to enable it to work on the PC because it's basically designed for um, PlayStation and it doesn't work straight, you know, if you just connect it directly to the PC, you've got to modify it. So I did buy this board. And um, then I decided to change to the Shimitsu buttons, which are a bit more clicky than the Sunway buttons that it comes with. And decided to go with the Shimitsu joystick as well at the same time. So I had um, all the old buttons that came out of this. And I thought, well, I can use those to build my virtual arcade machine. So... Basically what I've done for now, this is a sort of prototype, I've mounted these buttons on a box just to try and get the positioning right, like for my hands, I've got quite big hands, to sort of get flip a button and nudge button um, and then that one is um, to shoot the ball, the what you call it, and then that one is for the positioning of the table you can change the, the view and then of course the left flipper and nudge buttons as I've done them here uh, to put them in a different position but I found this is a more natural position where you can rest the palm of your hand on the side of the cabinet or box in this case and where I can nicely reach with my fingers there uh, so basically what I've done, I'll just show you sort of what's inside the box. I uh, also did this so that I can check if the holes are the correct diameter. Um, that's basically iPack board, which I've just got hanging loose in there for now. Connects with a USB cable that comes with it to the PC. There is a common ground connection there. But because I've got so many wires, I joined the ground together. I just looped them on the one side of this chocolate block, as we call it, chocolate block, this connector. And these are the connections coming in from each button. So those are just the ground connections. And then the other connections from the buttons are going in to the marked locations on here, switch one, two, three, etc. You can then, once you have that connected, you can then just select them in this software that you can download for free. You can just select uh, switch one and you can then just assign it to whichever button you want it to be according to what you've set it up as in the game. And then you just go on to tour and the same thing and you then just save the file as and you just give it a name and save it basically that's it after that you don't really need to run this software because this um, board remembers the settings so basically once you've set them up you don't need to open this anymore but i just opened it for the purpose of showing you 
So yeah, that's just I've roughly wired it up just to test it out. Those are my buttons on the inside of the box. And like I say, I was just experimenting to see how the buttons fit into... I did look it up. Um, Samwa buttons. Oh, it looks like I'm busy uh, pressing a key or something, a button or something. Yeah, This thing's going moggy. I'll just close that for now. Yeah, it was just going crazy because I had uh, the one button my leg was pressing against it. So yeah, basically, uh, to look up and Samuel buttons, the ideal size for the holes is 30 millimeter. So about the size of a two pound coin I found is ideal. And then just cut just along the inside of the line. Just sort of draw it on the box like that. Cut along the inside of the line. So that's how I've sort of set it up, just to test it out. And I was going to try and build the um, the actual arcade machine just out of cardboard first and put the buttons in it and get it all shaped up and see where I'm going to fit my monitor. I also have, I just need to reach behind me on the table, I have this joystick, that's the Samba joystick that came out of that controller which has got uh, two connections on each on each of these um, switches because it's got four switches and again one goes to earth and the other one goes onto the board and there are positions on the board which you can see about here you've got that's your ground there that blue connector then you've got right left up and down for your joystick connections that's where you'll actually connect them on the board as well so I'm just going to mount that sort of on the top because I play some MAME games some of them will work um, in portrait mode so I'll just give a quick demonstration it will be a bit difficult with one hand though of this pinball basically that's your plunger I couldn't think of the name of it earlier that's the plunger button I've set that up as And your flippers. Just using one hand at the moment, so it's a bit awkward to actually play the game, but just to demonstrate to you that they do work. Oh, I tilted it, pressed the wrong button. I was trying to press the one on the left. Uh, for some reason that's not working. I think the wires come loose because they're all just hanging loose in there. It was working earlier, but because I've been fiddling around with the box and stuff, uh, I'm guessing the wire has pulled loose in there. Uh, things are all going uh, crazy here. Yeah? Pressing buttons by mistake. Yeah, I think one of the wires maybe has worked loose. I'll have to check the connections. That's the thing. I've just got it all hanging loose in here for now. So I'll have to just go through it. It was working just now, but it's just a rough setup just to see um, if it all works and just to position the buttons and to work it all out and see how I'm going to put it together. So basically that's the start of my virtual pinball machine. I've got a spare monitor that I'm going to use, 24 inch. And it's just going to be a tabletop model. Uh, because I don't really have the space for anything bigger than that. Uh, to put something on legs and so on. I wouldn't have the space in my house for that really. So I think a tabletop model will do. I'll just be connecting up to the PC for now. Therefore the USB extension... Uh, lead to go to the board uh, that's what I'm going to need and then I'll just have uh, same the cable for the monitor I'll just run from the PC I'll just run uh, HDMI lead to the monitor just quite a long one and then that will reach to where my table is and I will have the screen on there and the joystick and my buttons. So yeah, basically that's a bit of an overview of my project that I'm starting on with the virtual pinball machine. 
if you have any sort of comments and suggestions it would be quite welcome anything that would be helpful and um, or maybe to an update at some point once i get to the next stage of the build and in the meantime uh, stay safe and well and um, hope that you enjoyed this video bye bye for now